thank you for stopping by my channel to take a look at these Christmas gift cards. If you're like me and you've been out into the stores recently, you know they have all of their Christmas tree and Christmas things out in the aisles. So it seems a bit early before Thanksgiving for me, always have, but I decided it was probably a good time to upload these Christmas gift tags that I have made. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a minute and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, bell so you will be notified when I upload new and additional content. So I guess my first question here is, am I the only one that saves Christmas cards year after year after year after year? I have a box of these things that I have been lugging around for years. And I thought it was time that I did something. I also pulled out a bunch of Christmas scrap paper, but I didn't use that for this particular project. So I chose the images that I liked, that appealed to me, that I could put the card over and feel that the image that was left would make an attractive presentation. So I am just picking and choosing and cutting it out down to a workable size to get this card started. And just continuing in the process. And like I said before, this was very enjoyable for me because I have been carrying these cards around for years. They have been to Indiana. They have been to Florida, our move to Florida, and they have made it in our move halfway back to Georgia. And these are cards from my friends in Kansas, from where I originally resided, cards from friends in Indiana, friends in Florida. And it was just a very enjoyable and cathartic project to, to work through all of those cards, read the notes, remember the people, um, enjoy the memories, and create these gift tags that I can use over and over again and continue to enjoy the cards. So I have cut out all the pieces that I want to use. Now I'm just gluing them on the back of the playing card. And as I told you before, or you may know by subscribing to my channel that I'm altering right now, 52 playing cards in 52 days. And I had some that I had to do over twice. So I grabbed an additional deck of cards. And these are kind of some of the leftovers. Not part of the 52 cards in 52 day challenge, but an off fall from, from that 52 cards in 52 days. So now that I've chosen all of the images, I'm going to shuffle off to the embosser. I chose some embossing folders and I'm just going to get all of these cards embossed. And I like what this does for a couple of reasons. It adds some interest to the cards. Some of them are um, weight. It, adds to the weight. So the weight of the card that makes it feel more substantial, it kind of gives it that little cling when it hits the table. And it also adheres the card to the playing card. It just kind of creates that additional layer of structure. So just choosing now some embellishments that are coming from scraps that I have from the table. A little piece of burlap, which was off of altered playing card number 14, I believe, and a little bit of bling, which is off of playing card number 15, or the five of spades that I just uploaded this morning, I think. I'm not going into great detail as to what particular bling I'm adding onto these cards because it wasn't anything that was really structured out or designed out. I just grabbed scraps off of my table. So as you can see, um, anything goes. Just do something that appeals to you. Use what you have left over from previous products. Use projects. Use what's laying, laying on your workbench. 
This is a little piece of lace that came off of a card that I used and I had this little flat back red gem that I'm going to adhere to the top of that lace to put on this card to kind of, you know, bring out that that little red bling there. This is some uh, gold gold bling diamond mesh type ribbon that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. You can pick up an entire um, roll of this at Dollar Tree for one dollar in the U.S. and it is just little pieces of flat back gold jewels adhered to the mesh and you can cut it apart and use it however you want. So now that I have everything kind of decorated a little bit, the card itself provided most of the decoration. I am just coffee dyed paper gluing the card to that and trimming around the outside edges. Once I have it all trimmed up I will round the corners with my crocodile and then bring in the vintage photo ink and give that a little distressed or aged look with the vintage photo ink. And I chose not to write to and from or anything on the back of this because I, as I said in the beginning, I wanted to use them again and again. So I googled just Christmas quotations and chose those that were appealing to me or attractive to me or made sense to me. And I didn't run the copy dyed paper through my printer, so I chose to age this just with a vintage photo ink by going over everything very lightly. I'm going to finger tear or ruler tear out these quotes and then vin uh, vintage photo around the outside edge on that tear because that will really grab that ink. Glue it onto the back. And there you have a nice little Christmas quote on the back of your Christmas tag. I think that looks nice. And I want it to be worthy of using over and over. And I hope that the gift that I give, they will use. If it is a gift that is given within my own home, I'll save the tags and use them again next year. This is a remnant of a file folder from a file folder journal that I made not long ago. I'm going to cut it down into inch pieces and then I will cut those inch pieces off to an appropriate length to attach to the back of these cards to write to and from on. So I have a disposable piece that I can remove from the card and then use the card over again year after year. Just rounding the corners on one side of this little tag, I will write to and from on each. And then line them all up and punch a hole in the top of all of them at the same time. And you can see I'm working on four cards at a time here. And there's my hole punched into each of them. And I'm just going to ink around the outside edge with the vintage photo distressing. Cutting about a six inch length of jute and I'm going to cut them all at one time and then we will tie those on to the card. Just 
to attach the little two front piece. Now the card of course needs that hole punched and I've created a template out of a playing card. So I've punched punched a hole in, in the center of that playing card to give me that template. And then I know that when I punch each tag that I'm being consistent. So I'm just threading my to and from and just tying my jute on the top. This jute is three strand jute. So I'm going to unravel it to give me six strands of jute at the top of my card. And that does it. That completes the gift tags. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Easy to decorate with your remnants, easy to do with old cards that you have. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's something that you choose to do. These Christmas quotes, I think, personalize it even a bit further. So this is the cards that I have done thus far. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you would, please subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell, you will be noti notified when I add additional content. And I hope you will come and join me for the 52 cards that I am altering. I'm kind of on a roll with this playing card thing. So I hope you come back and join me in that. Again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you very much if you have already subscribed and watch. See you soon.